They're just trying to figure out right now what where we are. Ooh. Fuck. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to The Evil Within, a new horror game developed by Bethesda. It's twisted, it's got people with barbed wire around the face and swing an axe at your face, chopping you up into tiny bits. Um, the game is about, you play as a police officer called Sebastian and you get ambushed by I guess some thugs or something and you wake up in this horror world where you're trying to figure out where you are and what the hell is going on. So with all that being said, we're going to jump in. It's a new game. We're going to... Um, you know, please adjust the brightness so that the mark in the sensor is barely visible. Wanna move? That chair just moved. Wanna move it up a little bit just so it's not too dark. Uh, we'll, we'll stick with that. See how we go. Okay, guys. So we're gonna jump into survival, the harder difficulty out of the two. So let's do this. Also, I um, because I pre-ordered the game, I got the DLC pack, which is a few upgrades, like an extra shotgun and some extra bolts and maybe a health kit. And it says you get that a lot. Chapter 3. So um, when we get to Chapter 3, when we probably get introduced to a few more weapons, we'll actually have a bit of a boost. I don't think it's going to be too much of a boost though, just an extra few bullets, that's it. All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. 131, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph. You think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with your mother and son of the Deacon Memorial. Is there any... <laughs> God damn it! Jesus! <laughs> So that was Sebastian right there in the front seat. That's who we're playing as. You can tell Junior Detective Kid. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. It's got a very Japanese look to it. The art style of the characters. Prepare your anus for some jump scares. Once you get stuck into this. Dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Okay, so we're just setting the scene right here. There's no horror stuff starting yet. We haven't actually entered the world of hell just yet. Get a look at the graphics. Oh, the frame rate's a bit shit. I heard this game runs at 30 FPS as well on all platforms, so maybe you can boost it up on PC. I'm playing on PS4, and it's a bit jerky. Ugh. Maybe you guys won't notice it as much on um, YouTube because it runs at 30 FPS anyway. But I'm feeling it right here. When you're used to games playing at 60, you can definitely feel it. So we're heading towards the crime scene over here. And the widescreen's a bit weird as well. Does it stay widescreen? Alright, I just looked at the option is just there to see if you could change the widescreen effect. I suppose it's the going for like a old school horror film look. You can also adjust the green dens um, density as well, like effect. It looks alright for now. I don't think I need to lower it a bit. It's on a hundred. It's not as grainy as um, it is in I Alien Isolation. It kind of suits it a bit, I think, in this game. It smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. It smells like blood or metally. Oh yeah. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Holy shit. 
That's gruesome. Oh, I love, like, I've, I've, it's been a while since I played, like, a Japanese-made horror game. And look at the brutality of it. It's just twisted. They don't, they have no fear of making, like, organs hang out and all sorts. Look at the blood. It's so unique. Uh, did you hear? I, I did actually hear something just then. <laughs> what was that noise? Someone got killed Someone there. Alive in oh. Here. oh, where? Where's he gone? In there? There's a door. Oh, it look, actually looks really nice. It suits the slow frame rate, I think, as well. Look. They made it work. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. All right. See if you can if you can see what the hell went on in here. It was a shooting. We know that. Oh no, these are the cops, aren't they? Security shooting. Whatever was coming at them. Oh shit! Yeah. It's paranormal shit. It's what not fucking hell. Oh, so are we in that world of hell now? Is that it? We've left reality. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. That escalated quickly. Where am I bleeding from? Straight into it. They don't mess. They don't take the time, do they? To develop the story. Yeah, setting the scene. Straight away, we're hanging from a meat room. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! Rotate camera. What is he doing over there? What is he doing? And look at my feet. Oh god. He struck the guy's torso off, the one that was hanging next to me. Left stick to swing. Alright, so we're gonna swing back and forth. There's a knife in that guy, so that's flashing, so we're aiming for the knife. How do you actually pick it up? Do you just swing into it? Oh, here we got my hands coming forward. Go on, get it. Go! Oh, come on! That's it. Yeah! So we have to cut ourselves free. Okay, be quiet. Very quiet. Oh my god, this is this is messed up. Straight away you wake up here. So I think we're in like a different universe right here. I don't think we are still in the hospital. Okay, what are the controls? Okay, R1 is sneak. I know you can hold it. You have to hold it to sneak, so. Where are we gonna Well, This is kind of ooh, ooh. Okay, it's kind of weird, like, there's no indication telling me what to do or sneaking. I want to sneak. Controls, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a door there, can we open the door? I'm just going to quickly look at the controls. Okay, so I'm sure the game will tell us the controls as we play. we got X, though, that's interact, and that is locked. Locked. Shit. Shit. The guy's very calm for the situation in hand. I'll be like... <gasps> You know, he's just breathing very calm and not even... Okay, okay, where's this guy going? Can we post up on walls? Yeah, we go. He's put his hand on the wall. Freaking hell. This is... Like Texas Chainsaw shit. It must stink in here. The guy we said before when we, when we entered the um, hospital, it smells like blood. What did... Oh, God, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. He's coming back. Where are we looking to go? I guess we need to go on there, right? Behind him. Is he coming this way? Is he coming? No, he's back on there. Can we take him out? Can we take him out? Oh, his keys hanging on the on the hook there. You see, what was that X button? Is a knife in his head? I guess we can take out. 
So we're going to actually wait for this guy to finish doing what he's doing again. Go in the back room, whatever he's doing. And you can see on the left-hand side of that table, hanging above it, there's some keys. Now we're going to pick up them keys, and hopefully they will open the door that was locked behind us. Be quick about it. Ordinary keys, a key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. And I want to see what this is on the table quickly before we... Okay, maybe that was just... That was the option to kill the guy, I think. Maybe we should try that option. Actually, yeah, fuck it. Because he might not die, because he looks like a tough bastard. So um, let's leave him, and we'll go around this side. See what we can do. It worked, anyway. We have unlocked the door. Alright, we're going to keep on sneaking. So we're above the guy now, he should be down there chopping up, he's, he's right below us probably in that room still. So we're just trying to figure out what the- oh look at the chainsaws, look at the chainsaws. We're just trying to figure out right now what- where we are. Ooh! Fuck. Oh, hello. <laughs> he's got a chainsaw. Okay, just run. Um. <laughs> where are we going? Open the door. Yes. Oh, what's this shit? Ooh! My heel! Took up my heel! Fucking run. Fucking run. Are we dead? Are we gonna die? How'd you get out of this? There's a hole in the floor. Get in there. Oh, this, this isn't good. They got to the left hand side, there's a wall there. Ow. Um. What is this? Is this a real thing in a hospital? Like a, what is that meant? Is that like a laundry chute, but they're actually using it for bodies right here? Okay. So we've had a bit of a, a rough day today, haven't we? This must stink. <laughs> it's very dark in here anyway. Alright, what have we got? We've, we, he definitely hacked us in the back of the heel um, with the chainsaw. So we need to get that sorted out. Oh, they've, they've done a really good job in this game with the lighting and the the, the textures and the, the wet floors and all that shit. It looks so nice. Alright, we've, we've got no indication of where to go. We're just trying to friggin' survive. Quickly check on this side. Let's see if there's anything useful we can pick up on this. Okay, there's nothing back down behind us. So we're going to push forward on this side. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's jump in. Go for it. Alright, so we can't go that way, so we've blocked off it. Let's climb this ladder. I hope we don't stay injured like this for the whole game. I best get some rest at some point and fix my heel. This game is so nice though. It, it, already I'm loving it. Right, there's a door here. Is it locked? Oh, it's open. Alright, have you got anything in here useful? Um, There's nothing in here, is there? Is this... I think this game is in PS4 exclusive. Well, next gen exclusive, isn't it? It's not on... Where's the exit? Yeah, where is the exit? We're, we're looking for... It's not on PS3, I don't think. Okay, old note from sewer. Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there's a ladder which would look would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find the elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. So, there is definitely a lot of um, victims down here. And I'm the latest. Can we fucking get out of this shit all? Right, so these gates are locked. I'm guessing the keys that we've got don't work on these. You know, he's not even going to attempt the key, is he? He's going to push it and say no. So there's an extra room over here. Do we get a flashlight? We must get one at some point, but not at the moment. We've literally got a knife and that's it. I wonder if we've got our gun in our holster. Oh, look how slow he climbs this ladder. He's so fucked. If anyone 
spots us now, we are not getting away for sure. Alright, at the top of the ladder. Got something flashing in this room next to this computer. Have a little bit of a book. So, boiler room notes, system operating test begins, success. So, it's just a bit of a few notes from him. Um, staff can be complain begin complaining of nausea and failing consciousness one after another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital. Okay, so this is like people who've been captured. He, that man, appeared. That was the last day. Um, Input note. So that man appeared. The man with the chainsaw is the man I have encountered. Okay, do, we've got to make sure we don't press the fire alarm right there. <laughs> don't want to cause any more attention towards us. What is that on the right hand side? Is that a save marker? Okay. So this should lead to the ward, I think it said. Here we go, we've got a ward here, it looks like. Back room. I already don't like hospitals in general, they, they, make, they freak me out a little bit. And uh, now, they're making it a whole lot worse. So I think this game is pretty much based in the hospital, isn't it? At the moment it is, anyway. Whether it expands beyond it, I don't know. There's nothing to pick up anywhere, we're just literally trying to find an escape. We're not looking for any um, tools to hold. Oh, what the fuck? The chainsaw guy's up there, can we... We're going to get in the locker. This is a familiar setting. So he's come in. I mean, if I was like scout the chainsaw, I would be hacking everything because he knows I'm in here. Oh, fuck. What the f He just smashed the locker across. Okay. 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 So at least he's stupid. He's not checking this locker. Okay, now he's just trashing everyone else, though. Yeah, so these guys are stupid, so they're predictable. <laughs> we got that on our side, even though we, he's got a chainsaw. Is he going? What's he do? Oh fuck! He's got Sounds like he's left. There's a room next door. I think he went through. We can exit now. Where did he go? Oh, there's a door there. Now, where can we go? Can we go back out the way we came in and go a different way? Because he's in that next room. I mean, we can... No, I think we have to go this way. So we can sneak. Very slowly. Right, can we see where he is? Right, he's not in that corridor. It looks like... Oh, you can see his shadow there in the door. So we're going to have to watch and see where he goes. Alright, so it looks like he's moved away from the door. So we're going to push forward a little bit. There he is. Right, we need to get beyond that room, don't we? Right, if he... He's coming back this way. I think... He, hopefully he stays in the room and doesn't come out all the way. <laughs> okay, he's staying there. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to take this guy out, because I really don't think you can. I mean, look at the size of him. We're injured. He's got a massive chainsaw. He's a beast. And we're just a normal little guy. So let's sneak around the corner. While he's there. We can pick up a bottle. And do what with it? Can we throw it? We can throw a bottle. So let's say um, throw a bottle out, out to... Um, throw it over there. Did he go out? I think he went out, right? There's no bottle here. Shit. Where is he? He's over there. Make a move quick. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, now we went the wrong side. Alright, where is he? I think he's still outside. So we can make a move quickly again around this side. Let's get down. Leave him behind. Shit. So hopefully he'll carry on patrolling around in that room. We've got another bottle in our hands though, we can throw for distraction if we need to. Looks like he's staying back there for now. Alright, 
right, where are we? Where are we? Shit. We're losing on a lot of blood. I think this is the door we're going through next. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna we're still trying to escape from the hospital, of course. Oh, okay. Chainsaw guy is there. He's right behind us. Let's see, he's hacked us in the back of the ankle, the, the calf even. So we are struggling to walk. We're just trying to get away from this bastard now. Oh, it opened, that's nice. So, is he right? Oh shit. Nice. So there's, uh, that tells me, it tells me that that's not going to be the end of it. <laughs> We've seen a lot of bodies back where we came from as well. With a lot of notes saying that the guy's coming for the next, their next victim. So no one's escaped this guy's torment and murdering spree. Uh, oh no, he's out of mints. He's got no more mint sweets. Find myself within. Darkness twisting me around. And this is the evil within. That was the introduction. Alright, so we're on the main floor. That's all we've got time for, guys. So I'm going to end it here. We've seen a bit of an introduction, a bit of a strong introduction. It doesn't really take its time at all. Just jump straight into it with a guy chasing you with a chainsaw within the first two minutes of playing. So, <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully, I don't think we will, but hopefully we'll get out of the hospital or get some help in the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.